Welcome to another easy tutorial about rigging and we're going to be using the dog here. Um, this rigging has a little bug about, um, likes, likes to crash quite a few times, but uh, found a workaround about how to fix it. I don't know which steps are working the best, but this is working best for me. I'm almost getting no crashes this way. So I got the dog here and I'm going to go ahead and divide the mesh a few times. Then I'm going to set it back down to the lowest subdivision level. I'm going to go over and I'm going to store the morph target on here. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the Z-Sphere. Now if I go down to Adaptive Skin here and go to Preview, you can see it also has a morph target stored for it. But it has a density to 1 which I want to match the uh, dog at the lowest subdivision level so they'll both have morph targets and they'll both be at the lowest subdivision level alright this time I'll go to uh, the rigging and I'll select the mesh and I'm going to go to the transformation turn on to my symmetry and for better viewing I'm going to render fast render and I'm going over to topology and edit topology here now this little uh, you'll see a little red circle if you don't see it uh, move your cursor around and it'll turn the cursor will turn green when you get next to it then you just hold your control key down and click it but since it's active all I'm doing is ready to click and go so I'll just click here now see I got to the back half now the cursor is turning green so I'll hold the control key down and click one time and I'll work the back half select the root again this time I'm going to turn off the transformation on this and I'm going to select up in the neck area select the root again and do the back half at any point in time if you need to move the root this would be a good time to do it now I'm going to go over here and press convert to main then I'm going to uncheck edit topology and as you can see I got my new uh, z-sphere chains around the dog here as you can see the, the z-spheres go on the outer side of the mesh now I could adjust it bit before I uh, convert it to a main and went down the middle of the back to the between the middle of the ears to the tip of the nose but when you rotate it It'll kind of stretch the endpoint, so it would stretch the nose out. So this is kind of fine, just like it is. So this time I'll just go over to uh, the rigging and press bind mesh. I'm going to rotate it, select the mesh here. And if I select up there where there's not no points, it's actually like move. and if I select where the points are at it'll rotate again you can also preview this density here I'm gonna hit the preview and if I want to set the density up we can preview the density we'll set this back down at any point in time sometimes this thing likes mess up and uh, all of a sudden you will not see the dog or something when you move it around and what you need to do is just press unbind and press the scale key again over here the button or hit the F key then just press bind again and it'll center it right back up so let's rotate them around a few times see there's what it did right there exactly what I'm talking about what we'll do is press unpress bind 
and press the scale key and press bind and here we go again so there it is I usually don't do that but this time uh, I caught me on video so I got it so that you'll know how to do it if it does it to you And we'll go ahead and grab down here. And when you're done, you can actually preview this. If you like it, just turn it into a Polymus 3D and you're done. Thank you very much.